There's an endless number of ways to interpret the world. And the problem with that is that it kind of disorients you in terms of what you should be doing. But just because there's a very large number of ways to interpret the world doesn't mean there's a very large number of pro productive, meaningful, and sustainable ways to interpret the world. And one of the things you do have to do is figure out how you can conduct yourself today so that you don't upset the apple cart in a week or a month or a year, right? Because you're playing an iterating game. One of the things I often tell my clients, and this is a really useful thing to know too, there's a lot of emphasis in the New Testament, especially in the Sermon on the Mount, on paying attention to the day. It's something you also see a bit in Buddhism, you know, to sort of focus That's on the I moment. My, it's my book, Own the Day, Own Your Life. Right, right, yeah. right, right, exactly. Focus exactly. on the day. Yeah, so well, the thing that's so interesting about the day, the day is like a page in a book. Of course, there's many pages in a book, but the page repeats. And so one of the things I often had my clients do, I'll tell you a little story. I had one client who was spending about 45 minutes a night fighting with his young son about when to go to bed. And so, you know, they weren't having a pleasant time of it because it was just a constant battle. And that's common. Like, it's very common for parents of young children to be locked in a battle that occurs day after day. Sometimes it's around eating. Sometimes it's toilet training. Sometimes it's general behavioral issues. Sometimes it's bedtime. So we did some arithmetic. It's like, okay, 40 minutes a day. So that's 280 minutes a week. So that's, let's say, five hours. It's 20 hours a month. Or it's 240 hours in a year. That's six work weeks. That's a month and a half. You're spending a month and a half of work weeks doing nothing but fighting with your son. What makes you think you're going to like him? <laughs> right? Well, and you know, it's, 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 you think, well, it's only 40 minutes a day. It's like, don't, don't fool yourself. Yeah. Anything that's every day is a significant percentage of your life. You know, because what, you, you're awake, let's say, 16 hours. Five of those hours are basically maintenance. So you got about 11. And then seven of those are work. So now you're down to four. And so if you're spending 15 minutes a day doing something painful and stupid and you do it every day, it's like 10% of your productive life. Yeah. And so it's really useful to, to get, because people think backwards. They think, well, I have a vacation coming up and that's really important. It's like, no, it's not. You're only going to do it once. It's not that important. Yeah. Um, how you treat each other at lunchtime, if you eat together every day, that's your life. Yeah. Fix that. Yeah. Get, it, get it so that the food's good. Get it so that you're happy with the people that are sitting there. Fix that. It's like, poof, 10% of your life is fixed. I thought in your book, when you talked about the amount of times that you would see your parents, you mm. know, if, because you were seeing them a couple times a, year, a couple times a year, they were mm. 80, they maybe had 10 years, saw them mm. twice a year, I think, so it was 20 times. Mm. And I was like, wow, that's mm. a very useful thing to actually start thinking about mm. because actually counting the number of times that you get to see somebody mm. and then, because it is the ultimate, it is death that gives us the preciousness of mm. life it is mm. the the expiration it hammers at home yeah it's the scarcity that makes it really valuable mm. and and mm. and actually embracing that and understanding that allows you to align yourself to truth mm. in a way and appreciation mm. for what that experience is so whether it's that or whether you know i talk about it in my book the time commuting and i use the analogy that robert green had of a live time versus dead time like you're in your car most people are in their car about 30 minutes each way to work yep. in a lot of places. Well, that's an hour a day, five days a week. Absolutely. And like, so what are you going to do at that time? Are you going to listen to Top 40 or some news radio that's going to pollute you with some narcotizing dysfunction of everything that's, gonna, that's happening? Or are you going to listen to a podcast? Are you going to mm -hmm. learn a language? Are you going to listen to an audio book and level up your life during yep. that time? Or at the very least, practice mindfulness do mm. some pranayama some breathing exercises mm. that are going to put you in a state so that when you go home and see your wife and see your kids you're not all flustered from work and you can have that entry back into your life with a big hug and yep. a which is a good exhale. way which is a good which is a good way to to enter your house yeah that's another thing to think about it's like well how many times are you going to enter your house well a lot okay <laughs> well how about you get that right you know because maybe there's something that your family should do when you come home or maybe there's something you should do with them when you come home and it, it is part of that think you got to look at yourself i often counsel my clients to my students to detach yourself from yourself it's like okay you don't know who you are and you don't know what you're doing so why don't you just watch for a while like what is it that you actually do say every day and and that coming home is a good example people never think that i come home every day it's like yeah okay turns out that's important be good to get it right that's why people like having a dog yeah, you know, the dog the, gets it right every yeah, time. Yeah, the dog gets it right. That's right. The dog gets <laughs> it right every like time. Like hundred percent. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, and you know, that, it's so funny because because the dog gets that right every day, 
you will feed the dog for its whole <laughs> life, right? You'll take it for walks. You'll clean up after. Its only reason is because the dog gets you coming home right. Yeah, mm -hmm. totally. So, you know, it's not so bad. And if you if you have little kids and you let them greet you when you come home, they'll greet you like a dog does. You know, <laughs> yeah. they're real happy to see you. It's like, that's a good thing to facilitate. And if you come home and you train your kids that when you come home, you're a mess and you're angry and you're yep. frustrated, they're not going to want to greet you like no. that. No, you know, and so you'll be look, training them the opposite right. way and you're creating these negative right. patterns. Or here's something you can really do if you want to train them to, to not react to you well at all, is that come home and when they bounce up happy to see you, be crabby and criticize them. <laughs> that really works. <laughs> yeah. Because it's if you good, really want to plan. punish someone, you wait till they do something good, then you punish them. That's super Because it turns effective. their fucking world upside down. And, and it really hurts people eh, to have yeah, that. Totally. So it's something to really notice if you're married. It's like, don't punish your wife for doing things you want her to do. And if you think, well, I don't, it's like, oh yes, you do. You do, you have to watch because it's really easy to do. Mm. Partly too, because maybe you're bitter about something or maybe you're unhappy because of work or you know, when someone pops, comes along and they're sort of happy and that actually irritates you because you're not very happy and you're kind of mad at the world. And so they're happy to see you or they're happy about something and you snap at them. It's like, do that 50 times. Yeah, and watch the downstream effects. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's not, Especially not when, a good strategy. Yeah.